This is the International Consumer Electronics Show, the largest trade fair of its kind in the world. And this year, there's a focus of attention on a revolution in digital broadcasting technology. Once we saw they had a compelling story that we thought was very valuable to the consumer, we then put our plans in place. Tom Malone is a radio receiver manufacturer. Like many of his competitors, he's excited about the introduction of HD Radio, the brand name of Ibiquity. At no more than $100,000 a station, US broadcasters are now investing seriously in this digital breakthrough. We've been busy working with the broadcasters to get stations on the air. We've got 1,500 digital radio stations covering every one of the top 150 markets. Um, and in large markets like New York or Boston or Chicago or LA, you've got 20 or 30 HD radio stations on the air. Um, and working with manufacturers and retailers to get radios in shops such that consumers can go out and buy them. We're converting a broadcast industry. Biggest change, at least in the United States, in radio in 50 years. Only one technology to deliver this revolution over conventional frequencies is currently endorsed by the authorities, and it belongs to Ibiquity. For receiver manufacturers, it was an opportunity to upsell, to introduce new technology, new services, maybe uh, charge a premium for different product classes. For the car manufacturers, similar story. And for the chip manufacturers and other component manufacturers, it's obvious to serve those other customers. So it creates an entire market where one didn't exist before. We're moving into the portable area and as far as data features, as we move more into like personal navigation devices where you take data over the air and are able to update traffic patterns and, and things like that. So it's really portability and data features that are the big new focus for, for our group for 2008. A breakthrough that once meant simply clearer sound and greater program choice freely available over the established networks is now delivering some entirely new features. If I'm listening to the radio and I hear a song that I like, I press a little button on that radio called tag. And what is then done is the information is saved. And then the next time the consumer goes to iTunes, he's got a little folder that says tagged. And everything that I push the button for is there and I can preview it, I can purchase it. We're now really reaching the point where the automotive market is taking off with HD radio. And, and that's crucial. That's crucial for the rule. It's, it's crucial for consumers to get exposure to the technology. Now we have the full line of BMW, Mini, Jaguar, Hyundai, Volvo, and most recently at this show, Ford announced their intention to build the technology into their cars next year. So major step forward there. Where we are today is a lot of product at $99, some maybe even as low as $79, but really we've hit those magical sweet spots for a lot of product where consumers come in and you really have the mass market opportunity. You've got now Radio Shack, you've got Walmart, uh, Best Buy, uh, Circuit City. The last 12 months has seen a 50% increase in licenses to use the technology and a 90% increase in the number of HD radio products coming to market. And as the range has increased, so a global market has opened up. There's 30 stations on the air in Brazil, Mexico, 15 stations on the air along the border. We've got stations on the air in Thailand, uh, in Philippines, um, and pursuing a very high, uh, high value opportunity in China. Royalties are our main revenue stream. We're a locked in standard, we charge everyone the same rates, we support everybody the same, and then we get an ongoing revenue stream every time a radio is produced or every time a radio station goes on. And that really drives the economics of the business. And, and we'll do the same on a global basis. Ibiquity is introducing an entirely new set of business opportunities to an established and complex industry. And it readily acknowledges the very real support that has made that possible. We know uh, Collar through uh, their affiliate, New Venture Partners, getting in the trenches with us, helping us think through the strategies of the business, helping us negotiate deals, always writing checks, which is also important as well. This has been a, a long effort and, and we've needed capital and they've been there. Um, so I would say that uh, uh, their involvement and their investment uh, has been fundamental to our success.